Uh, well, growing up in America obviously has influenced my writing. Or I didn't grow up in America, but I've spent a fair amount of time there. Um, first of all, I think it probably, growing up anywhere, in any country other than the one about which you write, an author writes, uh, gives a perspective. And, uh, and uh, sort of a, the, you, I feel I have the advantage of a, of a, of a viewpoint that's slightly uh, removed from the place about which I write. And that's obviously useful. Uh, a second thing is that I'm aware, I'm, I think I have a m more sensitivity to my uh, audience outside Pakistan than I would have if I had been brought up uh, and lived only in Pakistan. Uh, in my books, you know, are being sold uh, in a number of countries other than in Pakistan. Um, and uh, clearly, understanding that audience is important. And third, of course, is, you know, language. My language would be very different if I had only uh, lived in Pakistan. I'm, I'm very, I mean, I'm very conversant in the vernacular of, uh, in, you know, in the U.S. idiom, although you might not think so from my accent. Uh, but I can put on a Wisconsin accent if you want me to. Uh, identity is obviously a theme for all writers. I mean, uh, you know, ultimately, we, one of the reasons that I write and that most writers write is to try to understand themselves and their place in the sort of, you know, their, the, their polity, whatever that may be. Um, you know, my polity is Pakistan, and, and I am a Muslim, and uh, I am also in some way American. Um, and and uh, so in the process of exploring that identity, of course, I've touched upon, you know, my work touches upon all these aspects. Um, however, I would say that, you know, this label, you know, uh, Pakistani-American Muslim is certainly not one that I uh, would put on or would I, that I would choose to consciously consider as I'm writing. Uh, I... I hope that my identity is much more tailored to my personality, uh, which has been shaped by many influences, including the ones that you point out. I think what you have to understand is that the America has gained such a negative uh, uh, identity in the minds of most Pakistanis that uh, that's not something that can be changed by, you know, in an election, and certainly not in a year. Uh, the the policies of the of the American uh, American policies in the last thirty years, and particularly in, in the last eight years, <coughs> have created a a really a real fundamental hatred of America, which is unfortunate but true, and uh, and that will take time to reverse. Uh, on the I would, however, add to that that it's clearly very useful that uh, President Obama looks more like us, that he has a name that sounds Muslim, uh, that, uh, and that he's reached out to Pakistan in a way that I think the previous administration just did not. This, this, his, uh, his behavior up till now doesn't seem to be, to be, to me, to be characterized by the same sort of extreme arrogance. Uh, and, finally, and finally, to sort of tie into that, I think that uh, the the president administration's policy does uh, appear to me, and I'm no political scientist, but it does appear to me to be more nuanced and more, uh, more, uh, less confrontational. And that is obviously uh, that. In by doing that, of course, you will the American uh, image will gradually be softened.